good morning students today we are going to deal with the topic in flipnet information and library network under library network academic library system papers so what is in flipnet or information and library network information and library network is a center it is a major program of university grants commission and in the 1991 at the initial stage it was set up by ugc but since 1996 it is working as a autonomous independent center situated at gujarat the main aim that why inflipnet was uh, set up is for the modernization and networking of the libraries especially academic libraries for doing the modernization and the network sharing and for the resource sharing the inflipnet was set up and this center also acts a nodal agency for networking of the various academic libraries now what is the main uh, you can say main objectives of setting up this center is it is basically to establish a kind of uh, uh, establish a communication facility among the member libraries and to improve their capability in connecting and it also uh, the main, the other objective is to help the libraries in automating in automation of the libraries to train the personnel of the libraries and to develop a better human resource in the library the library personnel to promote the computerization of the library to evolve standard guidelines for the techniques methods procedures computer hardware software services to evolve a kind of standard or a guideline the major objective was to create a network among all the academic libraries so that the optimum or the maximum utilization of resources can be done with the help of central nodal agency or at at the central place when we talk about inflipnet we have to see that what actually inflipnet is doing which kind of activities the inflipnet is doing <coughs> the inflipnet is basically doing various activities like first is database management second is software development third is consort consortium open access initiatives they have even their human resource development is one of the activity they are doing there are number of other activities even they are doing bibliometric studies also so under the database management what they have what are the various resources that they have they have in flipnet is having one indcat it is a, u, a online union catalog of all the university libraries collection the books the serials the thesis it is a collection a union online catalog that is a indcat it is a very useful resource another that database they are managing is vidwan vidwan is a database where you can get the profile of academicians you get the profile of scientists researchers in the field working in the field of higher education you can get the profile from the vidwan database that is also a initiative of uh, inflipnet and the software development as you must have heard the name of soul s o u l software for university libraries they have developed the software for university libraries and it is being provided free to the universities for doing the automation in flipnet is also having a very good consortium with the help of the consortium name is e shodh sindhu e shodh sindhu contains three consortium in it earlier it was ugc infonet which, which is for uh, university uh, net, uh, universities another is enlist that was meant for college and third one is indest which was meant for technical or engineering college so all these consortium has been merged and now the various resources that is available under e shodh sindhu purchased by inflipnet that has been provided free to the member institutions and it is a very good consortium that is a very big consortium where you get number of online journals free of cost there are number of other open access initiatives that are being done by the inflipnet what are these initiatives first is the shodh ganga as you know that every phd student after completion of thesis they have to submit the thesis the university submit the thesis to the shodh ganga also 
सो इट इज बेसिकली अ रिजर्वायर ऑफ इंडियन थीसिस सो वेन एवर एनी यूजर वॉन्ट टू गेट द इंफॉर्मेशन दैट वॉट आर द थीस इज डन इन द इंडिया दे टेक द हेल्प ऑफ दिस शोध गंगा अनादर ई ओपन एक्सेस इनिशिएटिव इज शोध गंगोत्री शोध गंगोत्री इज बेसिकली हैविंग द मेजर रिपोजिटरी ऑफ द सिनोपसिस ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटीज इन इन द टॉपिक वेयर रिसर्च इज गोइंग ऑन सो शोध गंगोत्री इज ऑल्सो वेरी गुड इनिशिएटिव विद द हेल्प ऑफ शोध गंगोत्री यू कैन नो दैट विच काइंड ऑफ रिसर्च ऑन विच टॉपिक द रिसर्च इज गोइंग ऑन इन वेरियस यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड कॉलेजेस अनादर इम्पॉर्टेंट इनिशिएटिव ओपन एक्सेस इनिशिएटिव इज ओपन जनरल एक्सेस ओपन जनरल एक्सेस दैट इज देयर दे प्रोवाइड द ओपन एक्सेस जनरल फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट सर्विस नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एक्टिविटी ऑफ द इनफ्लिप नेट इज द ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट इनफ्लिप नेट प्रोवाइड काइंड ऑफ हेल्प टू द लाइब्रेरीज टू द एकेडमिक लाइब्रेरीज यूनिवर्सिटी लाइब्रेरीज कॉलेज लाइब्रेरीज इन ट्रेनिंग देअर पर्सनल लाइब्रेरी पर्सनल फॉर कंप्यूटराइजेशन फॉर आई टी टेक्नोलॉजीज और एनी अदर मीन्स सो ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द अनदर इनिशिएटिव ऑफ द इनफ्लिप नेट इनफ्लिप नेट इज ऑल्सो डूइंग वेरियस काइंड ऑफ बिब्लियोमैट्रिक स्टडी दे आर डूइंग नंबर ऑफ वेबोमैट्रिक स्टडी ऑल्सो एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दीज 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 विद द हेल्प ऑफ दीज a uh, bibliometric or studies webometric studies we are able to get the findings of these studies and that can be utilized for the welfare of the libraries and for the users as well even they are uh, taking up uh, this as a very important thing that they try to implement the web 2.0 technologies or the library 2.0 technologies at their center at gujarat so web 2.0 or library 2.0 implication of various interactive and collaborative technological tools they have uh, they are utilizing for example they are utilizing streaming video media social network even blogs rss feed aggregation services what not so they are very well utilizing these all web 2.0 applications or the library 2.0 applications there if we talk about the various other initiatives of the inflipnet there is very one important inflipnet initiative that is epg patshala in this lockdown period many of the users are utilizing the benefit of this epg patshala where the content of around 72 or 77 courses or subjects are being uploaded it is a very good planned content uh, which is available on the epg patshala site so any user can Uh, go to this site and can have access of this even one another portal is also there that is uh, known as vidya mitra vidya mitra is also a e content portal where number of videos educational videos are being uploaded and these can be utilized uh, with this if we talk about the inflipnet inflipnet is having a various kind of, inflipnet is presently doing a number of activities and initiatives that can be utilized by the users in the uh, in the uh, online environment and even in offline environment and the universities are getting lot of help with the help of inflipnet center and it is basically inflipnet center is supporting a lot to the academic community to the universities to the colleges and actually it is a very good network which provide the optimum utilization of resources like the resources which are purchased at in flipnet the journals which are purchased at the in flipnet they are being provided to the various university libraries central university libraries whether it is a bbau whether it is a bhu or it is a amu anywhere it can be it it is being utilized so we can say it basically facilitates the universities in developing uh, their libraries in modernization of their libraries even for training of their personal working in the libraries and it has been recognized as a very good network for doing the scholarly content transmission or for the transfer of scholarly communication from one university to another university 
so these kinds of initiatives are very well taken up by the university and even the academic community and higher educational institution so this is all about inflibnet so please be at home be safe and follow the lockdown thank you very much